<laughs> what a way to start you burping right in my ears. I prefer the the northeast word for a burp is a rift. A rift, I uh, have heard that. My dad will say, I've just rifted. Yeah. That's a great word. That's good. It's cosmic, isn't it? It's a <laughs> cosmic rift. Cosmic rift. <laughs> oh, welcome back to Folk in Scotland. What number is this? Oh, who knows? Have After you... the, last, uh, the last lockdown, I lost track of everything. But I thought this was going to go into our, can, uh, the, 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 the library. Yeah, when, they build, when they when they build the um, you know the former presidents get a big building named after them. I yeah. thought that was on the agenda for us. We need all this for the. the we need someone on the shelves. I suppose well, they are numbered, but mm. it will be under it. I've written it by now mm. because we we were a bit behind um, because Talk of the for lockdown. You. Speak, for, to speak the, for yourself. The I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Because you're talking shite. Oh no, the lockdown. Well, I had the the quarantined well, the talking shite. The quarantined ones. T- t- I'm trying to be I, very serious. I think I've th- noticed. I no, <laughs> listen. I've noticed that our podcasts are a bit irreverent, and I'm trying to be a bit more professional and bring oh, some that word. knowledge and knowledge. Haha. Uh-huh. In educationalisms. Gravitas. Gravi- I'm the gravitas here. Talk shite. People have listened to a lot of this, and they know that's one thing we don't do. No, but I mean we don't. It's been claimed, but that's just. Haters be hating. So that we've done this back to back. We've done two in a row. It's interesting to see how far we can push it. Well, yeah. Have we ever recorded two in a row? I think yes, we might have. We've yeah. done it once. Did we? Yeah, we've done it once. It was back fine. in the days when our fallow youth. Yes, when we were sitting just over there. <clears throat> yeah, just sitting there. <laughs> the um. But yeah, we're about to head into lockdown again. It looks like so. This will be the last podcast in the studio for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I think it's. Well, no, on I think by the end of this week. Yeah, I'm just going to shut it down anyway, and we just do it on the phone. Yeah, just do it that way. It's just safer. Well, I like that because I could do it, Donald Duncan. Naked. Oh no, I was. I was. No, I'm not an animal. I always had a t-shirt on. A tie. (laughs) Yeah, I'd always dip my nethers in some deep heat. To give it a sense of urgency. Oh, goodness. Like, I like to do well, these podcasts with a full bladder. Oh, I've it done that several times. It gives you that yeah, urgency. I've done it several times. One time I had to stop to go and have a shite. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I did. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm the phantom shiter. Oh, you're the phantom shiter. Well, not Suzanne. I just, I just shat in the sink. Oh, that's happened here. Oh! That's happened here. But the... the, the the reason we're going back into lockdown is because um, it's Dundee out the whole country has been singled out. But I think I have a, a, a reason for it. Okay. Literally two minute walk from here is the biggest testing, COVID testing place in Scotland, I think. Yeah. And if I open the window right now, you just hear the sound of distant coughing. Mm. And... In the paper last night, they were saying that there had a lot of hassle of people going up there, not socially distancing. Right. And so well, I walk past the stricter. station a lot and I've got a sign up saying, keep your car windows shut. Mm. So people are just, fuck knows what's going on. No, but I've, I've seen it because I've been going to the shops of late and there's a lot of people mask fatigue and they're just not wearing they're masks. just not wearing them. Yeah, and I don't like it. Not good. I don't like it one little bit. Nope. <clears throat> and mm-hmm. the pubs are still kind of open and there's a lot of people sitting in Oh, beer gardens is a polite term for it. Well, there's one just up the road from here. Awful. And they've put out a marquee, but it's, it's got awful. walls. It's awful. Well, that's indoors. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're inside. It's ridiculous. Now, another reason that uh, Dundee's in trouble is a lot of pubs have been caught putting on false funerals. Oh, so everyone's Dundee. wearing, yeah, they've been wearing their black tie and that, that just now, drinking. You know me, I like a drink, but that is just Isn't too it awful. Much. That's ridiculous. It's not awful. I was just talking uh, to a woman in the post office today, yeah. and her sister in law has just died in Dundee well, last night. Been going, you go, I've been going, there's that pub Terrible. near here, the corner bar. Yeah. I went past there the other day. Now it's all locked up, but mm-hmm. all the lights are on. Yeah, pub by me, same thing, telly's on. Silence. No, no, it's just, yeah. that's not right. It's infuriating. You're, well, I told you a few weeks ago, um, I went past the pub by me, and all the old guys were coughing. Mm, and oh. I said to you, none of them have returned. Uh. Now, a few weeks in, none of them have returned. Nobody's come back. But is the pub open? Yeah. It's closing at half six, I think, but yeah, the number... you see the telly on, and that's never happened before, ever. No. no. Mm. And it's a silly thing to do. I saw some weird things the other day. I, wa- I saw, I was walking back for the work, and there was a couple, lovely couple... 
another side of the road and it was a guy both junkies mm-hmm. a, a skinny guy pushing his wife in a wheelchair yeah the both of them had extreme fake tan right okay they were both dra- dressed like he's 17 mm-hmm. <laughs> and i was just like having a great old time i thought that's that's an extraordinary image i was close to taking a photograph of them but i thought no can't be mm-hmm. but you know this flats beside the jet garage yeah you'll notice around the flats they've got a wee a wee a wee pearl and a wee wrought iron fence yeah, around I know it. I know and it's going. like a little bit of chucky is like a foot wide right a okay. demarcation zone between the street and the, the wall of the building copy and often students throw stuff out there mm-hmm. in there yeah was a junkie walking his dog <laughs> So it was this human <laughs> disease with a big Staffordshire Bull Terrier and he's just walking it down, just cramped in this wee space. The dog does a shit. Now there's grass across the road you could have Incredible. taken. Incredible. And then after the dog's done his business, <laughs> he tries to go over this fence, which is like just yeah. a tough foot and a half. He gets stuck in it no. and he's cut his oh, big wonderful. fat dog. Can you know, dog yeah. staff has got the bare bellies? He's got it. So he kind of caught his balls in the thing and he's like, oh, and then his dog's caught its balls in the thing. And it was just, it was heavenly. That's wonderful. And I thought we deserve, humanity may have, may have entered a cul-de-sac. A, a junkie getting confused is the most wonderful thing. I was oh. in the Europa. Do you remember when that was yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great wee greasy spoon. And I was in there having a cup of coffee <clears throat> and this junkie came in. And he got his coffee in With sugar With a lot of sugar 16 uh, <laughs> And he went to get his uh, pound coin oh. and It was in his, his tracky bottoms And he uh. went, oh no, there's a hole And he's uh. And it's fallen down Now his trackies were tucked into his sock Oh So he started ripping the hole open in the And then went uh. in from the inside So he's standing there with his whole arm Down the trousers And he's fighting, he's fighting And you're watching his fingers at the bottom of his sock Claw He eventually him, got in Pulled it all the way back out And he'd actually Pocket. nipped a bit of his ball skin Oh Jesus, what a disaster it was It was, the, Did it I tell was you just the time incredible. I saw a junkie with his, He was a lassie But she'd up to her elbow She had her hand in one of those fag uh, The outside pubs The big metal thing uh-huh. of fag Which had filled with water and she was rummaging about for fags, taking oh, them out. No. Like, yeah. No. Seven them through her fingers to take home and dry. Recently in the, I think I mentioned this, but recently in the, the heat that we had, what a good summer. Oh, aye. Um, locked down most of it, but we were, it was a lovely summer. Mm-hmm. Uh, down the bottom of Loch Hee, they've got all these new houses beside the council building and they moved all the junkies in. Yeah. And on the grass outside it, there was four junkies, top to door, to Adidas oh. Lying Sunbathing But the only thing visible Was their hands and face oh. And not all their face Because they're all wearing caps But they were properly sunbathing the, ge- the gear's always Immaculately yeah. clean And just up from there There was um, Do you know where uh, uh, Beside Farm Foods And mm-hmm. it's got the The wee statue thing and Yeah the, Yeah Well that's all uh, Pavement now Okay Yeah And the junkies go across there And they put down rugs And they have a picnic and they're sitting, there's buses and people walking about going, what the fuck are they doing? But every day they, they, they were there having a picnic. You know you know where that woman got decapitated? Mm-hmm. Driving away mm-hmm. from the police. What is that structure that's getting built there? Uh, they sell timber. It's a strange little building, And that. they've made a caravan and covered it in more wood, and then they've made this extraordinary floating barrels with yeah. big letters on it. But I think there's someone living in there Because the lights were on like at 2 in the morning But that at one point They tried to turn it into a little greasy spoon Like yeah, a, that a was hole a in disaster. the wall yeah. Who the fuck goes You're not going to get there the hairy bikers to, there But there was nowhere to park no. There was nowhere to stop but the, They were the, on lights have they got, There's no timber <laughs> seems to be stored in that space though is there? Uh, I think there's some now But is but it timber for burning in your st- I store? have no idea what it's for it's But I think a... it could be the place that used to be um, Up beside King's Cross Now do you need planning permission to... to do that sort of stuff? Yeah. Yes. Do you think they've got planning? Absolutely not. Not to look like that. <laughs> no. And the the place that I had the they were getting all the pallets in and stuff like that. And I'm not making any accusations. This could be any city I'm talking about. Uh-huh. But there was a lot of foreign workers living there, and they were standing around barrels to keep themselves warm right, at okay. night. And you're like, those poor bastards. What have they got themselves into to be in this situation? Because most of there's a lot of the the, the two dubious things. 
mm-hmm. is the uh, nail bars yeah. and car washes. Yeah. And they put a lot of the guys go into the car wash business and a lot of the lassies end up in the, the nail bars. Yeah. <clears throat> stroke prostitution. Okay. But yeah, anytime I see all these poor laddies in the freezing cold days freezing cold, washing cars. Wet. And there's never like a nice place to sit with a heater on. Nope. It's just freezing no, cold. There's one just beside me like that. Because sometimes you can get your terrible. car washed for nothing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a strange thing. It's a very strange it's thing. It's an odd one. No, Dundee. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a bleak winter in Dundee. I've I got think a horrible, so. horrible feel. I think Christmas may be cancelled. Yeah. I hate Christmas anyway, so I, I don't do, care. I don't, Who cares? I don't. It gives a shit. I was on, on the news from. Did you see? Did you see that guy? Sky had a program about wood. Just you speaking about wood there. No. It was a thing about wood turn wood turners and craftsmen making okay. furniture. Okay. And uh, I think the guy that won it had a load of neo Nazi tattoos in his face. So oh, past now you, I saw a bit of news about this, and they're trying to claim the one neo-Nazi tattoo. Well, he said he'd, he'd 88, which yeah. is a neo-Nazi thing. He says, no, that's when my dad died in 1980. They've contacted his, his dad, dad's still fine, alive. Yeah. <laughs> but he had, like, Hitler's birth, getting all the stuff. Mm-hmm. Just a deeply unpleasant guy. But I thought, underneath that shitty tattoos, he looks familiar to me. He oh, was no. on a show a few years ago, I think it was a Channel 4 thing, where people had to live in a dump. Do you remember that? No. So they built that to live in a dump and make do with stuff that people were throwing away. One of these high concept Channel Four things. Yeah. But this guy, he was so particular. He'd wear fresh pants and socks every day. Uh huh. Out of the pocket, wear them and then throw them away. Right. So he was a big thrower, a, a, a waster. And this is right. him. This is his next stage in his evolution. He's completely covered himself in tattoos, deeply unpleasant tattoos. But behind his ear, I think he must have had a, an out and out swastika. But he'd had something removed from behind his ear. So the sky must have said that one's a little bit yeah. near the knuckle. What an unpleasant guy. Well, that's awful. Yeah. I mean, we don't have neo Nazis on the T V on like wholesome like No, that's that's a very strange Yeah. I think someone would have picked up. But on I think that. he must have won it. Oh. So right, they can't okay. afford the show they can't you know what I mean? If he'd yeah. been a peripheral character, they Go could on. have just edited him out. No, he's in the whole thing. How unpleasant. And no one spotted that. But he's a tattoo artist. Right. So he knows the significance of it. Of the course he does. Tattoo yeah. artists aren't going to put that on your face. Most no. of them. Most of them don't. No. 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 Most of them are. Uh, we're getting tattoos myself and that. Most tattooists are really, really well behaved in there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're, yeah. They, they get a bad reputation, but it's, it's no, went it, from it's the tough guy doing it for tough guys to it's a lot of, artwork. And, a lot of women doing it who are yeah, really good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. And guess who won the tattoo? The tattooist in the building done a lottery. Mm-hmm. And guess who won a voucher? You? Yep. Oh, dear. I won a voucher, so I'm booking in. And what are you going to get done? On this area here, which isn't covered. This area, it's called your arm. Uh, I, I was going to say bicep, but there's no bicep <laughs> no. there. Sinew. Sinew. Uh-huh. I'm getting a roller derby girl with a bloody nose. <sighs> <laughs> can they get, can you get smaller needles? <laughs> uh, to go on this arm, <laughs> yeah. The, yeah uh, it was used for uh, injecting ants. Oh. I've got so very get, thin you, arms. you'll give you a line. Tell me the day so I can hear like the just the noises coming through the building. Oh no, I love it. Do you take it, yeah? Uh, I got the guy that does mine is notorious for making you bleed, and mm-hmm. this is part of what he does. I think he has a wee wank while he's done. How the hell did you manage to win that? What's the chances? I think there's a fix there. Do you think so? Because well, this is what he said. It was uh, Louise that works for him. Put uh, on a hat, pulled it out. Says, just, "Do you know this?" And any of these people went, well, "Give me a." I'm you suspicious. Know. Are you? Well, that reminds me of the time I worked in a pub, and there was a lottery for loads of tickets for loads of stuff, and I won mm-hmm. a lava lamp in a top of the range mountain bike. What? Because I just fixed it. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm winning that. I'm not giving it to one of these. <laughs> no, pigs mine can... was above board and wonderful. I'm not. I choose not to. I choose to believe you. No, I'm gonna no. Go I'd, I'd, uh, I'm gonna kidnap his dog and uh-huh. get the truth out of him. It's a. It's an. Unbelievably good tattoo place. I'm going to blame it on that Blair Gowrie couple that just kidnapped about six dogs. Seen that in the what? press? This couple in Blair Gowrie thought they would steal a load of dogs mm-hmm. and take them down to England and sell them. Jesus. But then they got people got wind of them mm-hmm. and it was on social media. So I think they just let all the dogs out of the car oh my in various God. places. So most people have got their dogs back. Yeah, that's but the silly bars that everybody knows. In Blair, you can understand if you murdered a person yeah. in a pub, 
Mm-hmm. The people wouldn't be, you're more likely to recover your, your uh, reputation. Yeah. If you have stolen a bunch of dogs for people, they will they will get pitchforks and they will come and kill you in the middle mm-hmm. of the night. So they're denying everything, but I think it's, it's with the police just now. I'm oh, just the, stealing some of these dogs. That's a weird thing. That's a, that's a, a people, crass bleak. People have, Dogs cost too much now. It's yeah. people's kind of fault. They've, they've, they've so monetized dogs. Yeah. Like a dog didn't have any value. You fucking just feed the bloody thing. Now, a, a, a dog's too grand. Oh, that's it. One of those stupid things, those pugs, £2,000. <laughs> just for it to go. There was a guy along from me. I was at school with him from primary and secondary. Mm-hmm. And I would occasionally see him and he'd nod and that, you know. Nod at all. And uh, I hadn't seen him in quite a while. Right. And I was passing him one day And he just decided to speak After oh. all these years He went, how are you doing? You know, uh-huh. I says, oh, I used to see all your time I haven't seen you I was in the jail Oh I went, all right And he go, uh. and I didn't ask what happened But he told me anyway He says, the pub across from me They were having a look And the noise was terrible I went across like, Come on, keep the noise down I'm working They wouldn't keep the noise down So I went back and fucking told them So, you know I got a couple of years in the jail And I went You just told them oh, All right, okay and then it was a couple of weeks later I heard from someone else He went in with an axe And started swinging Trying to kill people It's a different Story I got Slightly Yeah <laughs> Went in with an axe Well the, the, people may not know this There was an actual Like crossbow murder in Dundee mm-hmm. Just a, three, four years ago Yeah not long ago Somebody was shot Somebody shot somebody With a crossbow at their window And killed them in yeah. the street And that was over Oh, a party something, Yeah something stupid Just it was two over, guys arguing yeah. yeah two guys arguing It was a noise issue Yeah Okay Neighbours can really When neighbours go to town with each other It's it's, yeah. it's a fury You've got to stay apart I've always people said like, The Third World War Will be fought over like wheelie bins Yeah I, You know what I could believe it It's little things like that The positioning Just of a wheelie bin See if one of my neighbours Took my fucking wheelie bin Because my wheelie bins are tidy mm-hmm. If I ended up with one of their dirty wheelie bins Oh dear Oh dear They'd find themselves in their wheelie we bin We had a neighbour Uh huh and this girl, she was actually Had. having her, yeah, she's long gone, but uh, a few years ago now, but her, uh, her and her partner were drug dealers. So there was people shooting up heroin in my path and I had to throw uh, them out and shit. It was you, you shooting up heroin. <laughs> <laughs> but she got this thing about the bins in her head that the bin men had to come down the back of the path and take them up. And she says, I'm not doing it. So she would phone four or five times a week. I'm phoning the council. These fucking arseholes are not picking the bins up, right? She was so, not prepared to take out in the She street. wasn't doing it. Now, you know the annoying thing? Mm-hmm. I did it every week. But one week, I couldn't do it because I wasn't there. Uh, and she went, my bins weren't picked up. It was me taking them up every day. I just do it. If I'm taking my bins out, I take everyone's. Yeah. It's not a problem. It's only an extra one bin. You daft bastard. So, she complained that much, uh-huh. right? I went, I'm staying out of this. So, I didn't take her bins again. Uh-huh. And she says, now they're definitely not getting taken. This is bullshit. This is, you know, personal. Mm-hmm. So, it, right into the paper, doing everything. Uh, being really abusive when they came down shouting and screaming at them. So, they got such shit for it. One day they came down, emptied their bins, but piled their bins up on her door. Uh, right up. So, when she opened her door, in the way, the bins fell in. Oh. Right? It got really out of hand. Uh, but the problem is, since she moved out, they rarely pick our bins up And we I have the phone to say Because they think it was us Oh no And I'm like it's not us She's gone It's fucking four oh, years ago Oh you see So every Three I, or four weeks I'm phoning to get the bins what picked up What I would up. do is We we bag of Haribos mm-hmm. Just leave it for them I like to leave my postie Like a box of biscuits Now and again Not at Christmas time Just At Christmas Randomly I give my, I give my postie a good tip Well I was going to do that A good one, one I did that one time But my normal postie was replaced for a oh, week no. So he never got it I know I wait I know the guy that comes Well up. I know You know me We've been on the phone A couple of times mm-hmm. Recording this With Stephen Lovely guy mm-hmm. He's come he's, he's got a dry sense of humour The things he's seen Oh god Can you imagine the Leaking Sodden packages oh, Delivering them I couldn't do it Oozing Frog spawn Coming out of them I think it's a hard job Being a postie yeah, it's a bit pressure It's a bit, bit to be harder Because they're now Going to be collecting stuff From oh. your door You imagine they're, they're trying to put an end to the post offices Well the post office that I go to is getting hammered So he'll they're be like that's the so end difficult. of it Because if, if yeah. people, people if they can do it for the front A lot of like places now you can just 
get clothes delivered, tie right. it on, leave it, leave it gets it. collected. Have you noticed though, like if you buy something from eBay, it, nothing comes through Royal Mail. It's all DHL or Hermes. Is it eBay, is it? Yeah, no, a lot eBay's of my stuff. just, you know, so I think things are changing. So I'm really, with this business, I'm looking into different yeah. delivery services because they just come around your Hermes house and pick got a terrible up. reputation. Hermes. I had an issue with Hermes and... Shocking. What it was, there was a thousand pound camera left on my door. Oof. And I went in, I got it, nothing wrong, went in, looked online, there's my signature or someone who copied my signature. Oh. And I had to phone up and went, look, Aye. if I'd been anyone else or if that had been stolen, I've not got like the stand No, on. they'd say you'd, you'd picked it up. Yeah. You can't do this. No, you can't do it. And, and I really felt bad, but they said the person that done it has been told 10 times, so we've let them go. Oh, and the, and I'd, you, you, got know, guy, you got a guy sacked. Yeah. He's probably going to come around one night. Yeah. He'll wait, you buy his time. But this, he said that this has been a constant problem with him, so this is it. He's been warned several D- times. DHL, I've had a good experience with. They seem yeah, to have been okay. pretty, pretty good. Amazon, yeah. as much as I hate Amazon, they're mm-hmm. fucking efficient sometimes. They are efficient. Come the following day, and they say they're coming. This is, yeah. Amazon, though, has affected my business so badly. Now, badly. I'm making uh, a lot of harnesses sort of for like Lara Croft cosplayers non, at the moment. Non, non-sex sex wear. If I could break the sex market, it'd be great, but not, nobody wants it. No. People so have stopped having sex. And they've stopped it. Yeah, it's gone. Um, but last night, a couple of orders came in. Uh-huh. I need it for Friday. Where are you? Canada, New York. You're like, you can't uh, get it. Yeah. They're like, why not? Uh, and it, even though they've seen the the, yeah. the cost, how long it takes, and as they go through the process when you're buying on Etsy, it tells them exactly yeah. how long it's yeah, going yeah. to take. Uh, estimated. They go, could you just send it quicker? You're like, it's not going to get there. So this belief that Am- it's like from Amazon, that you can just send for someone and get it the next day. Yeah, it's... It's not true. No. You can't do that. No. These are handmade items. Yeah. And they're from a, a small business. Mm-hmm. 6,000 miles away. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's mental. And it's, but this is what you get. This has really hit us since that. And then saying, right, well, if we pay more, can you expedite it? And you're like, well, to get it when you want it is 106 pounds. And you're like, well, I don't, I'm, I, I'm not going to pay that. They're like, well, you're not going to get it. Oh, the, the, they the, don't understand. The, the, they just think it's like the, the whole world's a wee city now. Yeah, there's no such thing as free postage. No. You think there is, but someone's paying for it. And you have to remember, in most of America and in Britain, if you call it free postage and you put it on the cost of the item, that is illegal. Right, okay. It's got to be free postage if you say that. Right, okay. So if there's evidence that you've increased your prices to cover the postage, you're not allowed to do that. So on uh, companies like Etsy, they they offer, they will give you higher listings if you offer free postage from the states, and they tell you just put the cost on the on the item, but check your local area if that's legal, and there's nowhere it's legal. <coughs> the um, I it's find, terrible behaviour. I behavior. don't like buying stuff from America. I find that's a bit of a nightmare. It's very difficult. To, yeah, it's, it's, a e- bit it's of a easier to get stuff from. I got stuff from Egypt but, in yeah. four days. Oh That's God! Insane. I've I've sent DHL four days. a watch strap from Germany. Mm-hmm. Um, four o'clock at night, I sent for it. The next morning, it was in my door, and I'm like, "How the fuck, fuck did that happen?" But America, there's so much. That's what worries me about yeah. the Brexit thing. Yeah, this is where Someone's, it's going. People are going to be paying. Yeah, a lot. People aren't going to realise. We've got used to just people got used to really cheap food, really cheap holidays. Things are going to go up, and man. things are getting yeah. suddenly, and it's going to be the thing is. Sting's going to keep travelling as much as he wants. Yeah, it doesn't bother but him. But ordinary people are really going to get punished. No, we're going to suffer. Yeah. I see what's going to happen. They're going to want to reduce flight. If there's maybe less flights, part of me thinks it's kind of quite a good thing in a way, pollution yeah. wise. Yeah. But the people, it's going to mean ordinary people aren't going to travel. No. And people that don't travel, sadly, they can get rather insular views of the world. I think there's Trump, going to be a yeah. very yes. And, and we'll yeah, all suddenly, I've talked we'll, about this. We'll yeah. suddenly just become one nation. Just, yeah. yeah, it's a bit No, of I'm shame. a bit worried about that because yeah. I've always felt with Brexit irrelevant, not the political no, side no, of no, it. No, 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 But growing up, I used to just take off and yeah. work someplace. See, I hate travelling. France. But I, 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 I resent, would just go. Yeah, I resent Spain. the fact, even though I don't like travelling, it's yeah. going to be more difficult to travel. Everyone I know, someone we know that lives in a van, used to yeah. took off to Holland, yeah. Amsterdam, that's all just gone. worked as a welder it's all gone. for a year. It's all gone. It's all fucking gone. It's and man. that's gone. There's a pissing competition going on, and Europe has a far larger bladder. I mean, that's Far true. larger. That's true. But uh, it's it's worrisome because no, American, young people yeah. are not going to get no, the no, advantages no, I not. had. I really, f- 
I re- the people I feel sorry for this whole time is young people. They're having a right shitty time of it. They get shit. Oh, millennials. That's nonsense. That's mm. nonsense. Every yeah. generation will say the younger generation is stupid. And if anyone younger listening to this, and now not millennial, because a millennial can be in your 40s, 40s now. Is, yeah. No, we're talking young people. What are they called? Uh, Spratlings. Z, Z, I don't know. But they are stupid mm. because you're young and that's okay. You're meant to be. Yeah, you're meant to be stupid. That's, yeah. that's the meant, best you're part. Meant, you're meant to feel bulletproof. Yes, and that's because you're stupid and mm. enjoy it because it goes away. And I I am worried that you see people now, they, they get a job, they can't afford a house, they can't. Yeah. There's no options for them. And now there's going to be no travel. There's going to be, what? Yeah, your education's gone. Your education's suffer. gone. There's, jo- there's going to be problems with jobs at the other end of it. What what are young people going Not to do a now? a political thing, but I hope there's an election coming up, and I think the world could do a little good, a, a, a little boost, a little change. And I think a wee boost could do a lot of things. Yeah, I'm hoping so because I worry about young people not having. Yeah. I mean, we didn't have the opportunities, uh, some opportunities that our parents had, but we were kind of in this special zone where you could go to uh, college, you could do these things, mm. you could maybe even buy a house, but these things are disappearing. Oh, do you, you can't, young people can't risk going to university on a whim. Yes. It's got to be very planned out. Well, even... Everything they do is now planned When I went out. back to college, I was 29. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I just decided to do it. Yeah. I don't think those options no, are there now. They're not. They've got rid I don't of think a lot of that. The whole lifelong learning thing's been kind of stymied quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Oh Jesus! And Christ. I'm really, I'm a, and and this is again, it's not political. I'm just genuinely worried about the people who are getting the blame for everything at the moment, young mm. people, which is just nonsense. No, um, but I think they're going to lose out a lot. I was just enjoying a little piece of oat that was stuck between my teeth. That is the most disgusting. When did you have it? When did you have oats? I had an oat biscuit. Oh, that's okay. It's within the last hour. No, it wasn't the last night. Oh, Jesus. When I was, when I was, <laughs> When I was sitting in my oat oat and milk I bath, that some cornflakes came up. <laughs> milk corn, I love a crunchy nut cornflake. Crunchy nut cornflakes are uh, a good one. Delicious. I love rice krispies. Oh, you're mad. They're disgusting. I love them. Oh, I love them. Don't get cheap ones. You've got to get good ones. But you, you just, I bet you listen to the pop. I love it. Do you love that pop? Shreddies. Like the sound. Don't like shreddies. No, I don't like. Not since those old ladies did. No, no. You've told me about that. Are you shitting yourself? I did. I was up at the. You like a good skewering out. A good skewering out. I was up at the, at the back of Lockheed Park. What's the park on the other side called? It's got Victoria. a graveyard. A graveyard. Is Victoria, Victoria Hospital. Park? Yes, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So I was going around the the bend, but they are going on to uh, Pentland, mm-hmm. and they've got this big uh, horseshoe sitting area. It's like a rose garden. Yeah, uh-huh. and I was looking for a spot to shit myself inside out there, but I managed to swallow it back and made my, made my way home. Cl- clenched. Oh, it was terrible. Double clenched. I made it, once I swallowed it properly, mm-hmm. I was able to get home okay, but to that point I was ready to shit was in the it street. Blah, was it, blah, blah. it was, oh, it was burning I don't hot. think I've ever shot in the street. No, I've no, shot in the countryside. Know. Oh yeah, we'll do that. We've all done that. It's not a problem. Have you ever pissed in your own garden? Yeah I love it I love yeah. going out to do the bins And then just I'm a dressing gown I just, <laughs> just Pee in the middle of the grass No I've been like When I was a kid I like to make eye contact With my neighbours When I'm doing oh it Oh my god It's a dominant thing I can thing. believe that No When you're a kid And you're in the garden To get up the stairs That's a hell of a distance You've, so you no, just you've no good time You just pish You just pee I You just that. pee Oh okay. I am notorious For locking myself in the, Out the house For getting keys Oh and uh, I was so bad at getting locked in the house. My climbing equipment locked the in the house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't oh. know. I leave my keys in the car or or somewhere else. And... Years ago, I was walking down. To, <laughs> I was going to the twenty four hour bakery, Clarkies, uh-huh. and I had this help, help. And I looked up, and there's this lassie like leaning out the window, just going, "I've locked myself in my flat." And I'm like, "What do you want me to do? But help me." So I'm like, oh, "Fuck!" So I just went up and like kicked open her door. Yeah. And she's like, oh, "Thanks very much." And then I thought. Why is this come around? Who's locked her in the flat? It can happen. Like, I leave my keys here and say my partner's yeah. left the house in the morning. She goes, she locks the door. Mm. I'm in the bath, right? Locked I in. get up. I'm like, because we don't have a latch. It's an like old fashioned big oh, lock. So there's no latch. And I'm like, well, I'm in. It's yeah. okay. She's not wanting anybody else to have you. I get my climbing gear. Aye. Right? <laughs> I sail down the. A policeman came across to me one day 
And I thought, he thinks I'm breaking in. He says, are you stuck in the house again? So he's seen me come out before. And I'm abseiled down, go to the car, get the key, pull the abseiling gear she's, in, no, on she's, my way. She's keeping you. She's like, you are no leaving the house. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, she'll know. I bet she puts a wee pube Ba-ding. and sticks it yeah. on the door. She comes back. She's like, he's, he's been fucking out here. Yeah, it's possible. Been, she gets this straw put. Oh, Rashing you again. I know. But yeah, that's I've I've locked myself in the house numerous times. And then sometimes I'm like, fuck, I don't even know where the keys are. So I'd just go to the pictures. <laughs> I'd just walk up to the pictures up at Camper Down is and that, go watch a film. I wonder if is that open? No, they've shut no, the Camper Down that, one. That's, that's shut uh, properly. It's yeah. like is it both bald? I don't think they think that uh, they're saying they say, oh, the, it'll come back. No. I see I've no been I uh, you know my The company that people. owns them mm-hmm. is billions in debt. It's a, an American company And they're billions in debt and See just, I hate people So the whole experience of the cinema I've been getting more and more annoyed Just the noise people make Now The person we know that lived in a van mm-hmm. His sister was manager of that place for years Yeah because she's married to a guy who used to work with you That's he right was, He was a security guard He was a security guard Big lad Big lad Jesus Christ Just You wouldn't fuck m- with him Buzz Lightyear Yes And We used to go up huh. And get in the pictures for free uh-huh. It was great And then sometimes We'd get up into the projection room <gasps> Which is a huge corridor Of mm-hmm. digital projectors Yeah there's no And we could just walk along And watch different films Oh that'd be good that Getting into the pictures for free Is a lovely feeling Oh it was It was expensive as well it's dear. And we could go and All see All that 3D th- film shit I don't like the specs then. 3D films I don't like Because there's an, I have an experience okay. Now maybe other people do this When you, you get it But when you put the glasses on mm-hmm. The, the screen feels smaller Yeah It feels like you're watching a TV And mm-hmm. Can you remember the 3D moments? You don't remember in 3D All my memories of my life Flat. are two-dimensional But yours are also in black and white Yeah That was the Like a Second or third head injury Your whole life's like one of those flick books It's just yeah. you good. But right Do you remember movement and action? I or, remember my last movement Yes this oh, okay. morning. But do, Or do oh. you remember flashes like a photograph of a moment? I get like photographs in my head. I don't remember. Oh no, it's like a full movie. It's like Ben. No, it's like Ben Har. Oh, proper and color. I, I dream looking onto myself. Cinemascope. I dream looking onto myself. I don't dream. I don't look through my own eyes. It's because you fast all the time. Yeah, I'm fasting at the it's, moment. No, but you see, when you go to your bed and unplug yourself, you're just off. You're like a TV. You're not on standby. I'm on you're, mute. You're, you're on. You're on. <laughs> well, I. The, okay, I'm on fasting at the moment because I do it. Once a year a full fast And then just generally fast Yeah This is what I've got to put up with This is a full fast This is a week I And can, I'm on day I, I can smell four. There's a sour smell of death Yeah Yeah And I don't eat for a solid week <laughs> you, lo- you have lots of fluid As long as there's no milk or anything oh, in your tea But already uh, I'm not hungry Your skin's starting to look a bit like Lionel Blair Yeah Oh gee oh cool. Is he still alive Lionel? Has he died? I don't think he can ever die He's a fabulous character Isn't, isn't he? he? Yeah Total shagger as well Like Frank Boff's dead Frank Boff He was a shagger Frank Boff Well oh Frank God. Boff Was like He was like an English Terry Wogan What are you looking I at? I hear something I think my phone's making signals Or something through this The um, Frank Boff Because he was Mr. TV Morning Jerseys Jerseys cuddly. cuddly And he was dressing up in lingerie yeah. And attending or- cocaine orgies Oh my god But then he got sacked I don't think he'd be sacked now Like I've said He was sacked Jimmy Savile was knighted yeah, Jimmy that's, Savile that's was a worse piece of shit But um, Fran Boff So it ended his career But then he managed to get I think they said he was always very nice to people Everyone liked him That he was, was the yeah, thing he just and then they're he like, had That's his personal yeah, life personal you know, so. But he, he was, was very nice care. Women that worked with him said he was great Yeah he, then he, he kind of managed to get back a little bit So he was doing like local radio And he was doing rugby stuff He's starting school. Yeah, He was caught back S&M sex dungeons oh, And he, so he got double sacked and Double sacked I don't And know, he, I, don't. Oh, I, th- I thought it was sad He died And it said Frank Boff's dead He'd been dead for four days Because oh. nobody's really cared 87 uh, and a half Yeah I remember Who was the guy Is it Terry Thomas? Remember him at the gap mm-hmm. tooth? Mm-hmm I like Terry Thomas. He in fi- became a millionaire right. in the fifties. Right, he was, he was so just, rich. He was the biggest. Yeah. yeah, but he ended his days in absolute poverty with dementia. Oh. just nothing. Ah, what did I see? Was it Norman Wisdom? And Norman Wisdom had had cash. 
but he was he had terrible dementia for years. Did he? And they done a program, and he was still doing his act, but oh, he didn't know where he, he was. He was tripping over. I, was, I thought he was a bit of a cock. Did you? Yeah. Oh. He was. He was massive in Albania. Oh yeah, huge. They had a, like a day of mourning when he died. Yeah, because yeah. he was the only. He was the only foreign films they were allowed to watch. That's right. Because uh, Norman Wisdom. The only the thing about Norman Wisdom when I was a kid, you used to go to the Canon or ABC Cinema, whatever it was called at the time, in uh, Dundee and watch Norman and, Mis- Wisdom. Well, they had uh, double features, and one of them was so Norm- you'd have a Norman oh. Wisdom, then Spider Man. Oh, that's strange. And that's what you'd have all the time. You had these weird films, mishmashes. And, yeah. Because everybody was a cinema just wanking. Animals in Africa getting drunk on fruit. <laughs> They're all just Followed wanking. by, you know. I've seen that. An elephant, yeah. a drunk elephant. Uh, they are rambunctious. Randy. Fucking, yeah. And then they'd say, see that fucking tree? And then just knock they trees just, down. They just fuck it. <laughs> just mental. I watched a documentary and it said, there's these monkeys that live on this beach, a tourist area. Mm-hmm. And they all steal booze and yeah. drink it and the female monkeys found the alky monkey the male monkeys who are big drinkers yeah. they were found to be more attractive oh really like Dundonians you like is this, is this what you're going for <laughs> <laughs> if I'm perpetually when stewed. I I was uh, in Nepal I was reading the Indian uh, uh-huh. there was a couple of Indian newspapers mm-hmm. in the hotel I was in and there was a gang of uh, monkeys mm-hmm. Not a troop A gang Right Because it was all the tough monkeys And they were carrying knives <laughs> And the police went out And shot them They got them Because oh, what they were doing Is they run up to women Carrying their shopping home Stab them in the arse The women drop the shop And all the other monkeys Run out and steal Jesus, it Jesus that's clever So they would fucking They would go and kill them They would shoot them Have you seen the monkey And it gets electrocuted And another monkey resuscitates Yes her? I did see that That's mental I was like whoa They're just like us Well they will take over. It's inevitable. People were thinking you want to see uh, someone like a, a, a an ape change to a sort of Neanderthal man as we think of it as yeah, the Stone the Age. Times no, too. They're in the Stone Age now. They reckon mm, yeah. the Stone Age lasts millions. Well, they've years. got they've got an, they've got kind of almost like a religion. Chimps. They've got a religion where they throw yeah. stones at a, a thing, monkey. Yeah. There's monkeys that steal people's stuff. Mm-hmm. And they'll barter back to get it back. That's right. So they'll steal your steal phone. Steal your phone. But you're like, here's a peanut. They're like, no, it's worth uh-huh. more than a peanut. Here's a banana. No. Nah. Nah. Here's three bananas. You can get your phone yeah. back. I saw That's that. insane. You got to barter them. Imagine having a pet, because I remember my hometown, there's a pet shop, and I remember well, there's a cage in the window with a monkey. Mm-hmm. This test monkey sat oh, there. Saddest thing, isn't it? That's just all. I hate it. It's awful. Yeah. Remember no, when seen... you could buy a lot more pets in pet I... shop? You could buy Dudit it. Dudit Park, where they're doing the uh, testing, mm-hmm. right here. I said to people, do you remember when the monkeys no, used to be there? the castle, and, was that? Nah, people, they're talking shit. No, it was like private. And right up the side of the whole building, mm-hmm. there was cages, mm-hmm. and there was monkeys in them. So that was a private residence yeah, at the time? Yeah, had monkeys in it. Who the fuck had lived there? Ooh, creepy. But Strange. There, and, and I started talking to people And I thought it was mad But then people started saying No of course there was And I talked to my mum She goes oh we used to take you down to All the monkeys and that yep. Monkeys Yeah Like a monkey army Like we squirrel monkeys and that But there was loads of them Aye. And then there was a bit That was divided And there was bigger monkeys in there Aye and They well, were the grey mon- Okay They could have just been Junkies <laughs> Junkies <laughs> Just you know <laughs> But yeah, they were they were monkeys right here, and we'd go and see. You'd hear them. Did you see them having a monkeys fag break? I used to see that in Camperdown Zoo because the guys would walk past, and the, the wee arms would come out and grab the cigarette, just sit and smoke them. No, a monkeys fag break is a wank. Oh, <laughs> I actually saw a monkey having a fag break. <laughs> I love the way mon- chimps will sh- chimps will chimps will shit in their hand. And throw the shite And yeah. they're like dead eyed They'll fucking oh, yeah, hit, you, they'll get you. hit you right between Imagine what a chimp's shit's like Did you see the gorilla in a zoo And someone was going to throw it food And yeah. it signs to them We're not allowed Aye And the girl goes to throw it And it goes be quick it Throws it In the mouth And then looks like that <laughs> <laughs> it's, You see those orangutans They'll fucking use a saw and stuff Yeah They'll open oh, a it's lot It's incredible the, the monkeys in uh, Japan uh-huh. Have trained deer Yes They ride them Groom them, feed them. There's, there's <laughs> baboons crazy. in Africa that steal dogs, puppies, mm-hmm. and use them as watchers, guards, in, guard in Nepal, dogs. Uh, we went to where they do all the cremations. Uh huh. And there's kids that live there. Uh huh. And they've all got shaved heads. And people went, "Oh, is it religious?" No, it's just the charity shave the head to keep the lice away. These kids are homeless. Uh uh-huh. They're all got glue bags and that. It's yes. terrible. But they get dogs. Uh huh. To protect them. 
the monkeys are going round and they've got dogs sitting with them. And it's to keep, and there's this battle going on all the time. And what the battle's for is when uh, someone goes for cremation, offerings are thrown in the river. Yeah, okay. And it's plastic bags. And you see the dogs swimming out to get them. And the kids are swimming. So the kids will grab it and the dogs go, oh, we'll get the next one. Because the dogs grab them and take them back to the monkeys. Because yeah, the monkeys the kids are get it, swimming. And there's money in it. And there's, Jeez. yeah. Have you seen in the Ganges where they just like burn the bodies and then tip everything into the Ganges? That's what this was like, but yeah. But there's catfish, huge catfish, because yeah. they're eating big chunks of human flesh. Yeah. We, when I was there, I've um, seen footage of people. Loads of bodies film, getting burnt. The BBC are there and they're like kind of filming it, but yeah. they digitise out the bodies. But oh, you do see it because when we were filming it, it was uh, filming it, watching it. Um, the only thing you're not meant to do is point because that's really disrespectful. Right. But you can watch it. So we are sitting on the other side of the river and they're burning it away. There was no family there; they're just the guys are burning them. And the girl that was with us, like I thought she was going to faint. Because one of the arms just fell off and they just pick it up and pop it back on. But the people that do like, that are like treated like they're the lowest caste yeah, people. Yeah, that's they're right. Treated, yeah. The caste system is horrific. The caste system uh, is Well, they say that's why, horrific, that's like, why like Britain and India, there was a kind of simpatico to a degree because mm-hmm. they both had horrific kind of class systems. Yeah. They understood it. it made well, even Gandhi sense. didn't like the lowest class system. Yeah, he no. wouldn't have them in the no, place. Yeah. yeah Shocking. No. Just an accident of birth. Mm-hmm. They get treated like shite. It's the it's in Japan, um, and it it comes from the Shinto religion. It comes from Confucianism, I think, and they have a, a class system where you're like the bureaucrat, the artist. Yes. But the lowest one, that's where all the organised crime comes from. Okay. So you see how it's a reaction to a ridiculous system. I watched a documentary about the the yakuza. Yakuza. But they say they're kind of they're fucking not doing very well at they all. Don't do nah, they don't do very well. They're too polite. There's too too much legitimacy in it. Yeah, but it was all very <laughs> understood. Can yeah. the police were in on it and they said, this is what you're going to do mm-hmm. and we don't want this spilling out. I watched the thing about uh, Japanese motorcycle gangs <laughs> and they were just the most harmless bastards you've ever oh, seen. Oh, their bikes but they are went, great though. They yeah. went and kind of rocked to each other, but not really. Yeah. yeah and it was all, but they kind of thought they were quite dangerous. Oh, I love but it's that. quite easy to be the most dangerous guy in Japan. Yeah. Jap- I'd love, I to, would go love to go to Japan. Honest, honest to God, it's the one place I would really love to go. Yeah. If, if I if somebody said, "Oh, here's a pay for your holidays," I'd go to Japan. Definitely. Japan. I think I think it's you know what's really Everything refreshing about, about it's it. It's so different. Yeah. And but they've not been massively tainted by other countries. Their culture seems to be so strong. Now I know that but there's an ethno nationalism. Yeah. In that. There are, We're yeah. aware of that. Yeah. But at the same time, their fashion. Is their fashion, their music is there. It's really, that's wonderful. Well, they, 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 I remember they always used to laugh at the Japanese because I remember they're always dressing like Elvis. Mm-hmm. And they look at these silly bastards, they're right behind us. Yeah. They're not now, they're no, like they're... Akira Space Age. Yes. They're in a differently, there's a lot, one of the jobs eh, in the museum, there's a, before all this happened, there's was, there was often big groups of Chinese people come in. Yeah. Chinese young students. And they were above, they were beyond us. Mm-hmm. I know they're wealthy Chinese, yeah. But their fashion, just, just everything, everything yeah. about them, they have we can they have they've overtaken us. Oh, absolutely, they've overtaken yeah, us. Absolutely. They say if you go like to Singapore and stuff, they're just they te- they come here and just think this is a backwater. Yeah, I think I've found this happening in America. Yeah, where I think it comes from America. We're number one. We're best at everything. They're not. They've but if you're best at everything, then you don't need to evolve and yeah, change. No. So as a reaction, yeah. Um, America uh, over the last say 60 years has really pushed themselves yeah. but it seems to be slowing well I've heard people and say when other countries go, just I've whew. heard people say when you go to America what you notice a lot of is it's all quite low rise mm-hmm. and there's a lot of cables everywhere That's true. and it just looks a bit shite it I, doesn't look that modern I found that I found it not as modern as I thought no you know but if you went thought, to, going went, to New York yeah. looks old it's yeah. Not, yeah, the it's thing not. is, you can actually be. It's like London; you've got so much infrastructure there that's just crumbling. Yes, and there's not much you can do with it. And it's cities are they're so expensive to live in. Mm-hmm. Nobody lives there, and yeah. it just it dies. It yeah. dies. A city that they've got to change something with city life. They've and got I'm not, to. I'm affordable. not being down on America. Thought, no, no, no. I loved it. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. Yeah. but. They've been too big for too long. Yeah, this is just a natural ebb and flow. Some and now you've got places like Seoul as like, yeah. the centre of, like... Where's the uh, place that's got those giant trees? They're like... They look like they're fake. They're these huge biodome trees. We, like, 
they're, they're a structure, but there's plants all over them. They're vast. Oh, I don't know. I th- that sounds know. like Singapore. That's yeah. the sort of thing they would do. Yeah. But yeah. everything's brand new. They're not having to retrofit. Singapore's ridiculous. They're not retrofitting yeah. stuff. They're just building it anew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, everything's say- retrofitted here. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's what we're seeing here. And I think with, like Scotland's never had that cultural no. moment. Mm-hmm. And I think... We can't be compared to say America or anything like that And it's nothing to do with size or anything But we've never had that fight against something In the sense, a cultural fight against no. something So we just go like that, ugh, whatever It's like Edinburgh ugh. Edinburgh, <laughs> I like a trip to Edinburgh But Edinburgh is crumbling under the weight of that, visitors that it's, And there's nothing you can do There's yeah, just not enough space That's right It's, it's There's not, nothing you can do There's not more made for and more it. visitors, it's just not made for it And I don't know what they're going to do about it They put trams in oh, Fuck, I'm not going to Oh, the those. trams are I terrible I have no interest in a tram The, the trams cost like a billion mm-hmm. 120 million um, was spent to see if it was worth doing Aye. A feasibility thing I'd have l- done it for half of that Oh fuck yeah I'd love to do that Just right. get a clipboard and go and ask right. a few people Is it, You want it? Oh, oh. go on Then when we g- they got the trams mm-hmm. They're second hand They the weren't new trams, trams. They're not they new, trams. new trams They don't go anywhere The Edinburgh bus is literally If you've not been to Edinburgh There's a bus every five minutes Oh the buses are it's good in Edinburgh They're fantastic yeah. Every bus will take away They're good go. in Edinburgh You don't need cash It's just Yeah Fantastic yeah. Dundee buses are the absolute worst Dundee buses have been getting worse And worse <laughs> If you have to rely I don't have to be f- in, in times when I've had to rely on a bus to get to work mm-hmm. You're in for a fucking nightmare Oh it's a It's an no, experience They won't come yeah, yeah. Like, And then two will come 50 minutes later A lot of the bus drivers are quite surly Oh surly Well And they're not the, the most modern buses A lot of the bus drivers um, used to be taxi drivers Oh god yeah And okay. these were the ones that I helped put through their test And then right. when they realised there was no not enough cars They'd go well my god I need a job And they'd say look go get your bus licence uh, yeah. Go and yeah. try that And a lot of them got it Yeah, And I see a lot of them now And none of them were the most uh, Polite, charming, or eloquent people you'd ever meet. No. Now, it's all training because there's the Strathtay buses that go outside of Dundee. The ones that have got the clippies. Yeah. They are nice. And you go on them and they're lovely. Lovely. And if they get to know you, how are you doing today? Yeah. All this shit. Old school. Yeah. And I remember getting on one because outside my work there was two buses. You'd get on the, 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 uh, the bus to Fallujah, they used to call it. You know, yeah. it's the, the 28 to Charleston. Best of luck with that. Or you'd got the, the one that would go outside of Dundee To Blair Gowrie and that you get on Is, the is one, it not the 57 that goes to the Blair Gowrie? It might be mm-hmm. So you'd get on the Dundee one Right There was fighting on it There was a junkie <sighs> shooting up People oh, are People oh, shagging Horrible Expensive uh-huh. Then you go on the one That's all tidy you got the clippy on it Cheaper And I'd sit down I'd look around going Look at everyone's better dressed They're sitting on their uh, uh, Max doing their work oh. And the kids from the school are just sitting quietly on their phones. Oh. You know, it's all just chill. And then I look around and I look into the reflection of the glass and there's one guy sitting in a dirty, oily, <laughs> greasy, <laughs> work jacket. Like pig pen. Knackered. Yeah. Just, and it, the one person that ruined that bus was me. So you know what I'd done? You go off. I didn't go on the bus again. I would just get on the, the oh, gadget bus. Poor wee bastard. I just thought, nah, I'm not doing this. This isn't for me. No. This isn't it for me. I'm ruining it. I've been watching a few of these high end travel. Mm hmm. So it's like Etihad or first class places going. Yeah, Jesus, Jesus it's Christ. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like Can a 20 grand ticket in it's, that. Yeah. It's, it's silk sheets to wipe your arse with. I watched one when you appeared, they had a they had a gift for you, and it was a picture in a frame, a lovely gold frame, waiting for you. Your face on a picture in your V oh, apartment. They come and get champagne, everybody's so one you get your own butler. Oh. It's as much as you want to eat and all freshly prepared. Twenty grand. Mm-hmm. And when you show up at the airport, you don't have to queue with anybody else. You just right. go in your own special place oh, no, and you've got an apartment. So you can wait you can wait the day in this little lovely apartment. I had a job once mm-hmm. and it afforded me a couple of trips and the couple of trips were um first class. Oh. And at this point, I, I noticed to... you never got off that bloody plane. Ah, uh, yeah. You thought you were good enough for that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Funny that. <laughs> it's hard to do it halfway there. And uh, I <laughs> jumped <laughs> straight plane. out. Check canopy. Did you see that guy jumping? He the biggest jump out of a helicopter. Yeah, I saw that. But I would have 
jumped out like kept yeah. me like a bullet. He was he's like, like ah! <laughs> he said he'd been training for ten months. I think that's the difference between a stunt man and a daredevil. Uh, a stunt man knows he's going to be okay. Uh, a daredevil hopes he's yeah. going to be okay. And I think he was a daredevil. He said he was a bit bruised. Yeah. Uh, bit sorry, a, so you're on this first class. So I'm on this first. So I get taken into this little area. Uh huh. Actually, probably twice the size so you get of this. Down? No, they just newspaper. Oh. Would you like a drink? Uh-huh. And I went, no. Would you like a coffee? I said, you know what you would like? And then the <laughs> chocolate and a cappuccino. And I was like, oh, okay. How much was that? That's, that's oh, right. okay. And I was like, all oh, right, I feel like an idiot. And I look around and there's guys with these pink broadsheets. Mm-hmm. And Is that the Financial Times? Yes. Oh, wonderful. And they're all just sitting there. Checking their shares. Uh, very polished shoes. Oh, just Lokes, a nice pair of Lokes. Oh, yeah, exactly. Handmade. Shirt and tie. I've got... I've got a Faith No More hoodie on Oh Long hair A rucksack which is stitched back together myself Right They've all been looking past up here And I was reading Deadline mag- comic oh. I was going to say magazine Deadline comic Tank girl in it Oh And I looked around and I had the same I don't belong here But because I had been afforded this ticket And I certainly <laughs> didn't pay for it The staff thought Who's this guy? Is he famous and we don't know They, may, they maybe thought you were Sting Yeah, they, they, that's, I think it was that sort of thing they were like, So I got extra treatment oh, And I could see it Like I can't put that face they're like, I don't know, he, is he an actor? And I had long hair so they must have thought Is I he a musician we, no, or I know something? They, thought were, they thought you were Michael Stipe <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Michael Stipe <laughs> but yeah, Losing so, my religion Oh it is Michael Stipe as well And I thought that that was really weird But mm. on the flight back the exact same thing happened <gasps> mm. And they were getting the extra wee bit of Did you, you know, join the Mile High Club? If you're wanking does that count? Oh, I thought I was taking a shite Because <laughs> you've been up in Nepal you've, You'll have done a pretty high shite Oh my god I've, the highest shite I've ever done uh, uh-huh. yeah, I'm trying to think of the highest shite I've It all came out very dry did they? Oh, it was the altitude. Oh, it just desiccates oh, you. Oh, it was terrible. Like one, of those, like one of those sky mummies. Yeah, exactly the same. So oh, it wasn't dear. good. Yeah. But yeah, so on this flight, you you go on and you go, all right, and you're looking for your seat. And it's like, no, 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 you go this way. Oh, you're And sh- I went in the wrong way. So oh. I turned to the poor seats, as I usually do, but no, you go to the left. So I go in and they're like that. And there's someone showing you to your seat instead of you going, what one is it? You uh, know. So I get to my seat, and there's anything you need, and there's a, a they take out a blanket in that. Oh, and we blanket. Before you even start, and before the, they haven't even boarded anyone else yet. Mm. I've got a, a glass of wine, a glass of wine. See now, when the plane's falling out of the sky, you're you're as dead as the peasants up the. That's bar. right. But You'll die well first. Yes, that's it, it. Crashes into the mountain. So it was wonderful. Yeah, and I had a wonderful meal. Oh, and uh, and it was like, is there any preference or that? And I was like, ah, no, just w- whatever, you know. Thinking beef for chicken. No, 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 no. You could ask for the meal. So oh. I had a vegetarian burger. Oh, then they lost all respect for <laughs> yeah. you. Oh no, no St- Sting's a vegetarian yeah, and Michael Stipe. There you go. So you could have been. And it was great. Maybe a maybe a Peter Gabriel. Oh yeah, could be. What happened to Peter Gabriel? I think he's still going, still touring, and he has a reputation for being the world's most boring man. It, you can't even sit in a room with him, you'll die listening to him. Oh, because you'll think he's... Uh, he's, a, he's just boring. Everyone's oh, he's just so dry, nothing interesting. And Phil Collins is looking a bit decrepit. Have you seen the neck of He there? had actually something I have. Uh, uh, he had drop foot. I was going to say talent, no. <laughs> <laughs> drop foot. <laughs> drop foot, it's where the numbness in the leg, and you get an operation for it. Now, uh-huh. the, the doctor I spoke to said you could get this operation, uh-huh. but I advise against it because oh. the risks are very high. Well, and I he think went he, through the and operation it went badly. Yeah, and he's got that's where he's well, in a wheelchair for he, fuck's sake. He yeah, he can't drum anymore no. or sing, which is a good thing because he's fucking terrible. Yeah. But he he married this woman, and I think she's yes. taken on his house. We are guards. Yeah, and just not moved out. <laughs> How you have to move out? But he, he divorced one of his wives eh, via fax. Ah, that's, that's fair enough. I he's, would a do bit, that. he's a bit of a turd of a guy. Oh, do you think that's a bad thing? No, I think that's he's, he do, I'm on his side. He's oh, done the you right favour you yeah. favour him just by being facts. appalling by facts. Yeah. Phil Collins. He was well, big for a while. He was huge. A I still listen kidding. to Sustudio. Studio. 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 That's a great song. Yeah, 
I'm not a fan of Ollie's stuff. In fact, that's the only song that he does that I like. The that's studio that, is remember, amazing. Do you remember Genesis said that song? They look down at the girl in the street. She's so tired to see her. Can that work? Oh yeah. Yeah. No, whatever. Yeah. While they were recording that, they were in in the they were dodging tax. <laughs> they were, Wonderful. They were hiding all their money in abroad. An island, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> While they were going on about poverty. Poverty. You fucking turd. Isn't that shit? Yeah, Isn't that a shit Bono thing? Esque. That's... Bono-esque, but I'll tell you the good thing about the pandemic. Mm-hmm. I've not heard from that Bono cunt or a the Irishman. Well, a I... old day Boomtown. Oh, him, he's a boom. The Boomtown uh, yeah, shirt. Uh, he's terrible. Um, but Bono, mm-hmm. I have to say, he does, he does stuff charity. <laughs> he, he he does positive things, but what he doesn't do is tell people how to think. He just. You know, sort no. of highlights. He does tell and stuff. people he thinks you should really like this album. He does tell people that. But have you ever heard any of Joshua Tree? I love the Joshua Tree. I hate that. Have you seen the hearty words in that piece? Yes. And he's in a gospel church telling black people how to sing. That's true. I have to <sighs> say when uh, they're filming Rattle and Hum and Rattle the Edge Rattle is and there, come. and I love Rattle and Hum. Do you like Rattle and Come? I love Rattle and Hum. Oh, yeah. And Are you a big fan of The Edge? No, as a guitarist, no, no. is he bad? I don't like him. No? I don't think he's brought in into... N- no, he's, no. He's unique in his style and his delays and all that, but um, I, it's he's not for me. He's got a little piss hole in the snow eyes. Yes, he does, he does. I've got the same look as I've yeah, pinched edgy. you've described They maybe thought you were The Edge. That could be it. Now, he was in this church... And he looks awkward as fuck. Yeah, he's like, oh god. He's like, oh, this oh is, do we have to? This is what's called cultural appropriation. Yeah, this this doesn't feel right, oh. man. This isn't good. No. Bono had, he likes to put his cowboy boot up and stuff. I'm like, Bono, get your fucking foot oh, off my, put, if get, come my in here, get a fucking foot off my coffee table. If Bono came in here and he put his foot up on something, I would slap it down. I'd slap it down. And then put my finger in his face and say nothing. Oh, he said face. I thought I was going to say something. Because he knows what that means. Because yeah. I saw that on, uh, I think it was some uh, film about the IRA, mm-hmm. and they just go, "Oh, I'd and that's you told." That's you told. I would tell me, I'd be fine. I'm Another told. one that's quite quiet, Sting. Sting, yeah, he he's disappeared. Celebrities must be panicking because there's a lot. Again, they're all. It's Colonel Tom. It's getting the coverage. Mm-hmm. Your standard, <laughs> Colonel cele- Tom. Your, st- your, your kind of standard. Celeb is just tough times, man. They're having a they're having they're a not difficult able to time. tour. Yeah, Mick Jagger's down to his last five hundred million. No, oh God, I, I worry about him. I can they, can they go on much longer? Because the Beatles are pretty much all dead. Yeah, the Rolling Stones. They lost a few early. Yeah, that's true. But the fucking the core group are just they carrying keep going. on. It's all they know. That's all he's ever known since he's been a young man. Yeah, he doesn't. His first job was this. He doesn't yeah. know. No, he's never another he's life. He's he's supposed to be the most pedestrian, tedious man going, Mick Jagger. Really, I could believe that. Yeah, yeah. he likes dado yeah. rails and he likes cricket. He go to his house. He's just tedious. Yeah, it's all yeah. that bullshit. Don't I think that I actually I'd prefer that. I wouldn't want I wouldn't shit. want uh, an exciting person constantly. No. But I think that's the way you, no, you survive can't li- these you things. You can't live. You, 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 you got have, your character, you, have, you walk off stage, you're normal. When you pop out your mother, mm-hmm. you've got so much energy. You're like a Duracell bunny. Okay. And you don't get any more. Mm-hmm. So if you if you use it up too quickly, that's you. Uh, Sp- spread out. I sleep four hours a night and don't eat. No, no, I, I, I think your next <laughs> birthday will be your last <laughs> It's a possibility <laughs> Oh my god What was that, half a century? Oh, next year I am 50 No one believes it, they all think I'm 17 <laughs> <laughs> No, back to front, mate oh, the, um, <laughs> 50 is going to be quite a thing It's. I'm, I, I've, I put it this way, I can't believe I'm the same age as old people I know that's the way I think about it. Uh, I really can't. I mean, you, you'll say to a young person, oh, yeah. go like that. Frank, when Frank Boff was on the TV in the morning when I was a kid, I thought, yeah. look at that old man. Old, old. He's 43. Yeah. But yeah, you look at people and you go, like Sean Connery in his last Bond film, uh-huh. I think he was just 46 yeah, years old. He's you're like, what yeah. the you're like, oh, he's too old for he that. He looks so yeah. old. Roger Moore had been our age when he'd started being Bond. He was younger. Yeah. Oh, you see a lot of people that are that I used to think were ridiculously old are seven, eight years younger than I am now. Well, I saw Sniff Pilchard on the TV the other morning because Cliff got accused Cliff of Richard. things. He did. And it seems to have, he, he took 
the BBC to court. Mm -hmm. And I think part of the deal, I think he obviously got a financial settlement, mm -hmm. but I think they also said to him, we're going to give you what's called some knee pad okay. pieces. So they've just been giving him this wonderful coverage of late. Oh my God. You should see the state of him. He's looking rough. He's like tangerine coloured. But oh, his hair and God. his neck is just... Ugh. But they said... He, they, they asked him to sum up his life, what he wanted on his gravestone, if he ever dies. Because the whole thing is, yeah. Cliff Richard's deal is you have to keep telling them how young he looks. Yeah, that's, that's in his contract. That's it. Yeah, you look so young. It's like Peter Andre. You have to tell Peter Andre he's good looking. Oh, that's Peter in his Andre. contract. Yeah. It's like Peter Andre is like an so good person. looking. Yeah. Yeah. But he said, he said, I'd like to be remembered as a guy that loved rock and roll and God just as much. Oh, I'd just punch him in no, his I'd elderly neck. Him. I'd punch him. I bet you when he punched him in the face, he would just shatter. Oh, it'd like, be horrible. Like a, what do you call it, that, uh, Caramac Easter oh, egg. Oh, like a brittle a car candy. Car like Caramac, a Caramac, just, there's nothing inside. Oh. Just pull out your hand, there's nothing. How did he work? We don't know. Remember when Sniff thought he was uh, sexy? I'm just a dish. He's just a oh, devil. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was awkward. 1978. Some of the clothes he wear... I didn't trust him. No, I've never trusted him. He liked him. a baggy, like, you yeah. know, easy down, easy up kind of trousers. Oh, God. No, a I'm balloon saying. trouser. Oh, God. Jesus but Christ. I loved that bastard. They did. They you thought ever he was... watched Summer Holiday, that film? Oh, it's a lot of shite. But it's the worst film you've ever... Mm -hmm. It's just... just It's actually genuine exploitation. It's, it's just rubbish, yeah. It's... Yeah. Yeah. I like... A film I watched quite recently is, is A Hard Day's Night, The Beatles. Oh. And that's... That's got something okay about it, man. Uh, it's okay. No. no, I don't mind it. It's not the greatest thing, but of its time, it does look. It's not for us because we're old men now. That's true. But as if you can imagine watching that at the time, and it just it was young guys with northern accents running about. It'd be I quite suppose, interesting. I suppose. Okay, I'm going to say it. I'm no. going to say it now. You hate the Beatles, Beatles are shit. The Beatles are terrible. And no, there's some Beatles stuff I really like mm -hmm. because it was like always around when I was a kid, and the Beatles have had some. I don't like Paul McCartney mm -hmm. And I think John Lennon If he'd lived in a cunt uh, John Lennon Wrote awful music Yeah But he died So he was elevated yeah. okay. Paul McCartney is the Beatles That's it Yeah He is the Beatles Frog's chorus Yep but, uh, It's rubbish No but I, I just Yeah I kind of quite like some of that stuff I like uh, Norwegian Wood That's a good song I think it's all terrible. Yeah, Blackbird. Oh, worst. No, I like Blackbird. Oh, it's rubbish. Oh, that'll play at my funeral. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I'm it's, not going to your brief. funeral, so it's there, someone can no, tell you'll me be, about it. Well, you'll be dead before. I'll be dead before. <laughs> <laughs> Murder, suicide. <laughs> oh, on that note, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hold on. I, I forgot to say something. Oh, God. There's a listener going? who's been listening to us from the start. Please don't threaten anyone. But no, no. Okay. And he's, 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 he's missus, who I work with, okay. said he likes to listen to us in the shower. Oh, are you in the shower? So you're in the oh, shower. It must be a cold shower from what I see. You're in the you're in the shower, Tom. Oh, so Tom. You, you, Tom. So good mm. luck exploring yourself. He's learning. He's learning. He's learning. This is all a part of life. So what wax on, wax off. Mrs. Tom, give that place a good <laughs> bleach after give it. Give him a good spray. But thanks Jesus. for listening, Tom. Thanks for we do appreciate. So thanks it. for sticking Thank with you. us. Does he listen to every single one? He he listens to all the fucking he's, maniac. Yeah, he he, he says he likes us on in the background when he's doing something. Oh Jesus! You know what I was talking oh, about? Oh well, I think it's my voice, Tom. Uh, Did you hear that right up to the mic, Tom? His, Ooh, his pubes um, are standing on end like a little. Our, attention. Vo our voices are like a little electric shock down his spine. Rrr. He's wee puckering up Buttercup. Oh Christ! Can we stop now? Tom, thanks for listening. Everyone else, thanks for listening. I you're appreciate it. You're, you're a wonderful bunch of bastards. You're a bunch of fucking motherfucking what brilliant a bastards. Ghastly, wonderful world of What cunts. a shower of shitey, wonderful people. <laughs> <laughs> Later, dudes. Ta ta.